What's up everybody, Michael here, and today I'm reviewing the Digital Photo DH04 for the DJI RS2. Little disclaimer at this point, Digital Photo sent me this device here for free, however no money changed hands, and as usual, I can say whatever I want. The DH04 is built decently, uh, you have a polymer and aluminum combination with a high focus on polymer because that reduces the weight. So a lot of people when they think about plastic they immediately think okay this has to be cheap, this has to be fragile. Um, I don't think this is necessarily the case here, although I have to admit it doesn't feel as well constructed as say let's something like carbon fiber, but at this price point this is not gonna happen as of now. The DH04 attaches over the two natural mounting points here of the RS2 and with the rosette mounts here and here you can adjust your grips to your liking and to your shooting situation. For me this is ideal because I can shoot at the level that I want but of course you can turn it upside down anytime you want. You just loosen it here, see, like that. Turn it around. And just like that, you have the camera oriented way more towards an eye level sort of situation. This is probably really good if you're shooting, you know, talking heads or, you know, people in general. So when you've mounted your camera and everything is set up and balanced on the gimbal, you obviously need to tune in these springs in order to get the smoothest result. You just rotate on the knobs to the left and right until your DH04 is completely horizontally. That is when the springs are adjusted perfectly for the use. And as you can see, <laughs> kind of looks ridiculous. Looks, looks a bit like a chicken, but um, yeah. If you want to have further adjustments, you know, on that shooting angle or the way you're holding this, you can also rotate here with these rosettes. That is really cool. So it makes it really versatile in case you want to shoot, you know, in the flashlight mode, for instance, that the DJI RS2 offers. You have another piece of equipment, quote unquote, which is this belt here that you're supposed to wear like that and then attach the gimbal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to the end of this. Honestly guys, this is probably one of these moments where the marketing team was like, after you know the product is finished, okay, can we add some additional feature for absolutely no price whatsoever that looks like a feature but isn't really like costing us anything? And then they probably came up with this design. I get the idea behind it that you want to sort of spread the weight uh, over your upper body, but <laughs> I mean, guys, let me let me put it together real quick. Hold the hold the phone, hold the phone. This is the idea. This is the idea behind it. In theory, this is a good concept, and this is what we used to do back in the day when we didn't have gimbals and we had like this belt from the camera manufacturer, and you'd put it around the camera and then put it around your neck to sort of give another stabilizing point. However, I don't know, guys. First of all, um, I, usually I don't judge things by the way they look. If they're functional, if the gear gets the job done. I don't care how ridiculous I look, but obviously there's limits to that because I think <laughs> um, this looks this looks a bit desperate. So I don't think this is viable. Um, you're gonna have pain in the neck, and this is really bad for your posture long term if you use that. So I would definitely advise against using this belt because let's face it, the setup is not that heavy anyways because of the polymer use of these things. With all that being said, let's jump into the test and see if the DH04 can actually reduce the fourth axis, the Z-axis bounce by 30% as the manufacturer claims. This is a test just with the DJI RS2. I'm running on 28 millimeters on a Tamron. Let's go. This is a test with the DH04 RS2. Uh, let's go. When looking at the footage, I think you can see a slight reduction of my steps or um, of me running actually. Is that a lot? Probably in some cases, in my case I would say it did a decent job, but I think the DJI RS2 already does such an incredible job to begin with. So $165 question, are these things worth it or not? If you're in the market for a dual grip sort of system setup for your gimbal anyways, I think the DH04 is a decent option just because it has two grips already. The added dampening to the Z axis is in my opinion just the bonus on top of it because it does reduce it a tad but not to a level where I was like, oh my god, yes, this is a must and you need to buy it because of that feature. But I think all overall, if you need grips anyways, this is a really good solution because it comes with a bunch of features. 
From a design perspective, I can say it's good enough. They put some thought in uh, the design of the spring arms and the grips feel really good, they grip tight. What I would have loved to see is like on top of here, some sort of extension or to make it a bit wider so you don't slip if you hold it like that. About this thing here, I don't think I will ever use it. Uh, if you want to, sure, it's there, it's nice, but I think at the end of the day, you're just gonna get pain in your neck and you're gonna look ridiculous on set. Given that this unit quote unquote only costs $165, it's probably worth picking up if you're looking for something extra or just, you know, for an additional sort of gripping solution for your gimbal. So that wraps up my thoughts about the Digital Photo DH04. And if you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe, liked, or left a comment down below what you think about units like this in general and the DH04 in particular. Until then, guys, keep creating, and I will definitely see you in the next video. Cut!